Hello and welcome. I am back again with yet another exciting Python video. Today we are going to code a Python voice assistant. It will take input from a microphone, convert it to text, and perform certain tasks based on the input. Let's go ahead and get started. I have PyCharm open and I will create a new project. I will name it PY Voice Assistant, open it in a new window, and while PyCharm is creating a virtual environment for us, let's discuss the main packages. We are going to build on from the previous video where we used Google Text-to-Speech. We are going to utilize it and dive into speech recognition module from Google. Our environment is ready. Let's install required packages. There are multiple ways to install a package in PyCharm. We can use the terminal down on the bottom left and use it to install package. Let's try it. Issue a pip install command with the package name and it will grab the package and install it. Our speech recognition package installed successfully. Another method to install package is by importing it in the program. I will add a Python file to the project, call it app.py. Let's import the required packages first. So I will import speech recognition as SR and we will use Google text to speech. So from GTTS import GTTS once we import a package, we can hover over it and PyCharm gives us the option to install it. Package references get resolved once the package is successfully installed. We'll be working with files, so let's grab uh, the OS module. It is a built-in module, so we don't need to install it. Also, we can import the date time, another built-in package. To play mp3 files, we need play sound package. I will import this package and same thing, I am going to hover over the package name and click on the install option. Up next, I'll import PyJoke. This module has built-in jokes so we can utilize it uh, in the bot to tell jokes. And after that, I'll import Wikipedia. We can, we can use Wikipedia to look up uh, places, people, and uh, other terms. And last but not the least is the Pi Audio. Speech recognition package need this one. Let's see if PyCharm can install this for us. It looks the package installation has failed. Let's try the terminal option. Per Google, we can use the pipwin package to install Pi Audio since I'm working on Windows. So let's install pipwin first. With the help of pipwin, let's try and install the Pi Audio package. It seems that pipwin is doing the trick and the package installed successfully. Let's wait for PyCharm to resolve the package reference. Finally, we are ready to code the virtual assistant app. Let's grab the microphone audio. For this, we are going to define a function called getAudio. Let's declare a variable r and set it to equal to srRecognizer. sr is the speech recognition module. And we can say with sr.microphone method as our source, use audio variable to r.listen, the source variable. I will declare an empty variable called said, and in a try block, set said variable equals to r.recognize underscore Google method, and pass it the audio from the microphone. Let's go ahead and print the converted audio. And 
let's handle the exception in our accept block and convert exception to a string and print it. We will return the set variable at the end of this function. Let's define a second function and I'll call it speak. This will speak the converted microphone audio. It will take text as an argument. We will use text to speech module TTS and set it equal to GTTS and give it the text and set the language as EN. I will declare a file name variable and give it a file name of voice.mp3. We may get an exception as the program may not be able to overwrite the file since it will run over and over. So let's remove the file with the OS module. So in a try block, I'll call os.remove and give it the file name. And in the accept block, uh, let's call OS error and call pass. Now we can call the save method and give it the file name. Once the file is saved, we can call the play sound module to play the file and give it the file name. Let's try these functions before moving forward. So I'll declare a text variable and call the get audio function. This will return the text. We will play this text with the speak function. Let's save our work and I will right click and run the app. Hello, good afternoon. Hello, good afternoon. This is good. Uh, it parsed the microphone input and converted it to a text and our speak function uh, said the text out loud. We can go ahead and build on this. Instead of running it just once, we can declare a while loop so our program would run continuously. We can call the get audio method. I'll just copy paste from above. I will also convert the text to lowercase for text comparison. We can run string comparison based on the command we pass it to the program. I will check if text contain YouTube, then say opening YouTube. And for this, we are going to utilize the web browser package. And we can open new tab and give it a URL http colon forward slash forward slash www.youtube.com we need to import the web browser i don't believe i have imported it initially it's a built-in function so we don't need to install it and up next i'll use wikipedia to perform search so in the if else clause I will look for search keyword and if search keyword exists, we are going to speak searching Wikipedia. Let's remove the search keyword from the text and replace it with a blank. We don't want to include the word search when we query Wikipedia. Now we will search Wikipedia uh, by using the summary method and pass it the text and let's only get the first three sentences. So let's call the speak function and pass it the text according to Wikipedia. And then print out the text. And let's call the speak function again with the result of our search. So it would speak out the results. Let's search for joke keyword and call the PyJoke module to get a joke. Lastly, we search for exit keyword and if there's a match, let's exit the program. I think this is a good stopping point. So I am going to save the work and test what we have done so far. Let's go ahead and give it a try. 
I will run the program. Open YouTube. Opening YouTube. Okay. Let me, if the browser was here, so let me try it again. Open YouTube. Opening YouTube. Okay, there we go. So it opened the YouTube in a new tab. Tell me Opening a YouTube. Tell me a joke. How many prologue programmers does it take to change a light bulb? False. Search Bob Ross. Searching Wikipedia. According to Wikipedia, Robert Norman Ross, October 29, 1942, July 4, 1995, was an American painter, art instructor and television host. He was the creator and host of The Joy of Painting. Exit. Goodbye. Till next time. Okay, this is our simple voice assistant in Python. I think I'm going to end this session here. In the next video, I will go ahead and expand on this and add more functionality to it. For example, play music, uh, clean the recycle bin, and clean a directory, and so on. If you like the content, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, post them below. This is all for now. Thank you very much for joining me.